Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video. So I hope you guys are all safe and well. We are currently self-isolating for 14 days. So it means that I can't go out and do my usual shopping. Um, so it has given me the opportunity to get my house a little bit more organized. And I thought I would film this sort of beauty and hair organization for you. So I've got three main places that I keep my beauty and hair stuff. So the first one is in my drawer, in my bedroom. I've got a basket in the shelving in the bathroom and I've also got a basket in the cupboard in the bathroom. Now recently I've changed where I do things and how I utilise the space in the house. So it means that it doesn't, where things are placed at the minute doesn't really make sense. So I just wanna give it a little bit of a jig around and yeah, being off, and um, stuck in the house has honestly given me the kick up the butt that I needed and I do feel like if you're tidying and keeping your mind busy it just really helps with I don't know keeping everything calm I know it's a little bit of a worrying time um but yeah so I hope you're all well I hope you enjoy this video let's get into it so firstly what I've done is I've literally just thrown a bath mat onto the bed simply because with having all my makeup and stuff on it I don't want anything leaking and ruining the bed covers equally I can't put it on the floor because our floor is cream carpet as you can see you can see actually I've already got a few marks on the floor and I really don't want to create any more I am looking for a grey mat to go down here by the side of the bed but yeah still looking on that so yeah towel to protect so now I'm just going to empty everything onto here and then get organised wait a second cause they're playing the best song Before that I get into it, I'm obviously going to give all the containers a good clean because they really need it to be fair. I don't think I've done this since I moved in, which is I think two years we've been in this house. So I've set up a bowl of soapy water in the bathroom to clean them and I'm going to use a minky style but B&M version cloth to give the makeup ones a bit of a clean out because they're looking gooey. And I'm also going to be using these anti bat wipes. So these are from Aldi. These are super cheap and they are the best anti bat wipes that I've used. Talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words so that is my everyday makeup bag complete so I've basically got in there foundation, concealer, blusher, bronzer is something I forgot that needs to go in I'll give that a wipe bronzer um, I've got two lipsticks so I've got one red lipstick which is the red lipstick that I'm wearing now which is a sleek matte lipstick really really like that I've had that for a couple of years actually and really rate it and also I've picked out the PS matte lipstick from Primark in colour toast and I always wear that with the Primark lip liner in taupe or top um yeah and that's a pound so that is basically my everyday makeup bag now I do have quite a lot of perfumes but I tend to just use one up at a time so at the minute I've just finished with Roberto Carvalho and I've actually moved on to this Rise by Beyonce I've had it for absolutely ages I don't even know if you can still get it in stores but I do really like it and it's quite a nice um winter-ish scent it's still it's got some like warm 
scents through it so I really like that so that is the perfume of the moment so next I'm figuring out what I'm putting in this basket which is the one that goes on my shelf in the bathroom so this is stuff that I am going to use every day because it's a basket that's really easy to get to sort of when I'm at the sink and stuff so I'm thinking in here is going to go all of my face cloths and flannels you'll notice that I've got loads of these so I have one for every day of the week and I reuse them obviously I put them in the wash and yeah it just means that I've always got some yes they are getting a bit stained now these are the microfiber ones from B&M I really recommend these so they do say that it removes makeup with out any cleanser i still use a cleanser but yeah I, I like them and it does what i tend to do is just use water to begin with and then i cleanse with a just a very gentle face wash so yeah i think all of these are going to go in here what i do what i do is try to give me more than words what i say when i say i quit it's so now looking at the rest of this pile I am wondering out what else to put in this basket so I've got my cleaning cloth in well cleaning cloth face cloth in and I'm thinking what else do I use regularly um so I'm gonna pop in my headband because I need that when I'm doing my face and skincare so that's just to take my hair off my face so I'm going to pop that in and also I'm going to pop my skincare bits in so I have hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary I've got a nice cinnamide and zinc from the Me Plus collection at Boots and I also use the vitamin C serum around my eyes this is really cooling and refreshing for in the morning however I do use this um, in the morning when I wake up so I'm going to put that by my bedside drawer in some my cellar water again it's going to be needed if I've got some stubborn makeup so that's going to go in and I'm going to pop in some of these as well so yeah I think that is it for that tub and I am happy with that it's like you're walking through a labyrinth so next I'm going to move on to the stuff that I need weekly and I am going to throw it in this one. Say what you mean, say what you mean, and you'll get, get what you need, get what you need. What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words. What I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done. We need what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Don't play me Cause you're pushing me away So in here is all my spare makeup brushes So any that I don't really use will be going in there I've got this from Cherries and this So this is makeup that I use but don't use regularly Or I've got dupes of so let's get cracking You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands 
Now moving on to my big basket of hair stuff. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Hair done. I'm going to show you how I've organized it. So, in my big container, it's pretty similar to before, but I've just literally got all my electricals, everything that I use when I straighten my hair, so or curl it, including my big paddle brush, my heat protectant glove, heat protectant mat, and I've also got the heat protectant in there as well. And then in this little tub, I've really changed this up from what it was before. So this has all my sort of styling products in. So it's got rescue, repair, frizz free. Do you know what? I've had that for absolutely ages. It's amazing and I don't actually think you can get it anymore. I've got root lifter, excuse my tan hands by the way. Um, obviously with the coronavirus being about, I keep washing them and it just means they're really dry and my tan is clinging to it terribly. And then I've also put in like the little brushes, my oils, hairspray, dry shampoo, and stuff that I'm gonna use on the daily for styling my hair. So that's what's gone into this one. A second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. drawer looks after and I'm pretty pleased with that it's quite nice because before I had things stacked on top of each other which meant I couldn't get to them I like how my lip products are all in here and all my sort of makeup accessories utensils I don't know what to call them are handy to reach to got my brushes that are easy to get to now obviously all my spare bits my hair styling stuff's easy and of course this so I'm really happy with this setup so you can still see that I've actually got all this on the bed. So it's stuff like spare makeup wipes, spare deodorant. I've even got like loads of body lotion and just other random bits that shouldn't really be mixed in with my makeup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop those in the bathroom cupboard where they belong. I mean, I've even got the baby's earbuds. So yeah, they shouldn't be mixed in with that stuff. And then the thing is, I mix it in with my stuff and then I can't find it when I need it. Also, my bubbles will go in the drawers on the landing where they're supposed to go and not mixed in with everything else. And then I've also got a spare tub so I can make use of that somewhere else. So yeah. So that is all of my beauty stuff organised. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next one.